हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरीवन टू लर्न फ्रॉम क्लासिक्स चेस क्लासिक्स यू मस्ट नो एपिसोड 32 दिस इज सागर शाह एंड आई एम हियर इन द फॉर्म वेयर यू नो आई एम स्टैंडिंग एंड टीचिंग यू बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू लर्न टुडे एंड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू लर्न विद लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट विल बी कमिंग योर वे so a warm welcome to everyone in the chat uh, i hope that all of you are ready so what we do in learn from classics and you guys are well aware of this is that i will be giving i'll be taking up a very famous game from the chess history and i'll be giving you 10 moments to think there could be a bit more also but 10 moments are filled with points and you have to guess your moves so you can take a chess board with you set it up try to find the answer or you can guess it from the board just give it your all okay let's focus and let's begin shall we we'll try to finish this within an hour or maybe less than that uh, any guess this on whose game we are going to watch today whose game are we going to see today can you hear me well that is one question hope uh, it's all good aha uh -huh. magnus versus hans unfortunately that will be done by our grandchildren who will learn from those classics not vishi it's a world champion whose games we are going to see not alekhain not spaski not vishi not kasparov oh kasparov by the way will be playing from today in st louis so we'll try to see some games uh hint is it's a beautiful positional game so the thing about this game that we are going to see is that it actually changed a lot of my understanding of the game of chess and i think after an hour you too will be appreciating a small things about chess in much deeper way not capablanca close not kramnik yes divakar shukla you are right it is smislov the whose games we are going to see and uh, this is a beautiful game of smislov i won't reveal the opponent because then you can search the game i want all of you to not go and look at the game just think over here so shall we begin please let me know in the chat that you are ready 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 and we'll go get going yeah ready ready okay and let's get it rolling you know the story behind this game just so that you are aware of it is following uh when i was in 20 2009 i believe i had once sent sent my game to jessy cry and jessy cry has a has a channel by the way it's called chess dojo you should check it out and i had sent him my game on this website called chesslecture.com and i had sent the opening that was played in this game and i had written something saying that this position is equal and so on and then jessy cry analyzed this game between smislo and the opponent and i watched it and it changed my uh, sort of understanding i was quite strong back at that point yet i had no idea about these things so this was a big big uh, revelation to me and that's what i want to actually impress upon you as well so let's get it rolling smislov is white opens the game with 1 c4 now what is this opening called guys 1 c4 what is it called yes rakshit singh you are right it's run by kostya and jessy cry absolutely it's called the english opening fantastic all of you are right this is the english opening and the opponent says i'm going to play 
द सिमेट्रिकल इंग्लिश सो ही रिस्पॉन्ड विथ सी फाइव ओके स्मिसलो इज लाइक फाइन यू प्ले सी फाइव यू वॉन्ट सिमेट्रिकल चेस I will bring out my knight now. Knight removing the developing a knight to the center very logical. Opponent also copies him. Okay, now generally, what do you do with this bishop here, guys? How do you develop it? What is the move that you play here? Come on. What is the move that you make in this position? For that. okay fantastic fantastic let me check if the chat chess moves working all right fantastic guys g3 is what i was looking for and indrajit forever prashant tiwari jaya ruban dhanay doshi shuborno das maharishi re amay kanetkar shubhra bhattachar ji beloglavi soup and rafi excellent guys fantastic so the move that was played in the game was g3 now you want to put your bishop on g2 you want to develop it here okay so g3 was opponent played g6 opponent like are smislo you are world champion if you are developing this way i will copy you same way okay smislo now played b3 very interesting because what he is doing with this move b3 is that when black will play bishop g7 he will play bishop b2 so now he has this double fianchetto so what will black do now guys now tumko to pata hai black is like you know white smislo good he he does it well i will follow him so what should he play exactly exactly you are right guys so all those who are saying the move b6 maharishi indrajit प्रफुल अमय यश श्रीराम मयूर सिंटेक्स आर्यमन दिवाकर शुक्ला वेल डन बी सिक्स इज लाइक लेट मी डेवलप माई बिशप ओके स्मिस्लो इज लाइक फाइन कहा फंस गए यू नो ही इज कॉपिंग ऑल द मूव बिशप जी टू ही वेंट बिशप बी सेवन स्मिस्लो कासल्ड ही ऑल्सो कासल्ड now here there are a few ways to play but smislo said my knight is not developed so let me first develop it he brought his knight out and in this position black decided to break the symmetry here okay he played the move d5 and this is your first question what should white play here for the first point in the game white to play try to think it's an important moment in the game black has played the move d5 what should you play here as white try to think try to think i think a few of you have got it right a few of you so the people who have actually got this one correct very good job done by vinayak marar rocker and rafi only three of you and i love this move that you guys have suggested the move they have suggested is knight takes d5 and a lot of you a lot of you wanted to play d4 i don't like this move so much the main reason why this move is not so good is that after takes you don't want to be taking pawn takes if you take it then i'll take here and what is white left with what is the problem here guys what is the problem here white is left with a isolated pawn on c4 that is true this is a weak pawn on c4 okay so you don't want to play d4 okay if he takes you can take here on c5 as well but then you take he takes and then after queen takes here i mean this position doesn't look great or i can even take on d1
rook takes d1 somehow it is not the best way to continue okay so that's the reason why d4 is not good some of you wanted to play knight to e5 i completely get your point what you want to do is you want to put pressure down here on this diagonal but black will simply play knight bd7 and once again you are not a very happy camper here so what is happening is that if you have to exchange exchange then the d5 pawn is now defended uh, also the bishop is defended so i'm now threatening d4 and once again black is in the driver's seat so not knight e5 but the move and again if you take with the pawn then black will play knight takes d5 and you may not be able to take here because your bishop is hanging on b2 and you don't want to give up your bishop so that's the reason why you take knight takes d5 and with knight takes d5 you are opening up the diagonal of this bishop so it's a nice little move okay so full point to all those who said knight takes d5 black now took now of course only move for white is guys i hope you are focused in the game if you are focused in the game what is the only move for white i want all of you to write it down what's the only move jr robin says says can you sit down bhai uh, look i can sit down but i want to stand i feel like standing up and teaching something has more energy than sitting down and teaching what do you think guys yes all of you are focused i love it there are at least how many answers 50 more than 50 people who are saying bishop takes g7 very good i like it so he, you took a bishop takes g7 king takes g7 was played c takes d5 and now black played the move queen takes d5 now guys try to understand what is happening here is that black has simplified the position next move he wants to get his knight out and then get his rook in the center when white will have no advantage in the position so what did smyslov do here for your second point today white to move white to play Akshay Natuji, thank you so much. Hardest congratulations on 1 million Sagar Amruta. Thank you. Now, you might think that, oh, there is some disco that I can provide in this position. I can do that. But let's see how many of you get this one right. Try to think a little deeper, little deeper than normal. what is the move that you can play here which might be slightly deeper so now for all the people here who have mentioned the move knight h4 i was expecting this move I was expecting that you will play knight h4 in this position. However, this is an incorrect move. Because when you think about this move, you should also think what is your opponent going to do. Your opponent is not going to blunder a piece. He's not going to say, oh my god, my queen is attacked. Let me move it. Boom, bishop gone. No, he's going to defend it. And the easiest way to defend it is queen d7. He'll just move his queen and he will ask you, what did you achieve? Why did you give up? Why did you put your knight on the corner of the board? And after bishop g2, uh, sorry, bishop b7, queen b7, there is absolutely nothing that you have gained out of this. So knight h4 is that typical move where you are trying to get this small little edge. Uh, not even small little edge, you're just trying, you're getting this satisfaction of attacking your opponent's piece it's like you know check they do something like that Padzer sees a check gives a check 
Petzer is someone who is not a very big expert at chess. We should not succumb to that. We should try and go deeper. So knight h4, although attacks the queen is not a good idea. I really uh, think all those who said e4 went slightly deeper than those who said knight h4. Because those who said e4 were like, come, come, take the pawn and now we will go knight h4 and you lost your bishop on b7. Now you can't save it. So you're like, okay, okay. But again, it's one of those things where in order to justify the end, the means are not really good. E4, do you think your opponent is stupid enough to take that pawn? Not really, right? What will he do? Kya khelega wo? He'll just move his queen. He'll play queen d3. And then all of a sudden you are like, oh, hey, yaar. He didn't fall for my trick. Now I have weakened the d4 square and the d3 square and all these squares and the bishop is looking great and the knight will come here and then sit here. This is not how you should do it. Correct? So that's the reason why let's go back and make a move in which you are understanding the repercussions of your move even after your opponent makes the best move you are able to still have a good position. And the move that was played by Smyslov was d4. And the d4 move has been recommended by Vinayak Marar, Lavitra, Dhanai, Abhigyan, Pushkar, J.R. Ruben, Prashant Tiwari, Mysterious Hacker, Syntax Error and Neuro Freak. Well done guys. So d4 is an excellent move. Now, when I had reached this position in my game, I was black and my opponent was Alexander Formini, who was white. And I had sent that game over to Jesse Cry. And the move that I had played there was knight a6. And actually, that's the best move here. So I had played better than Smyslow's opponent. And I had said the position is around equal. And Jesse Cry was like, hmm, Sagar. Do you know this game, this famous game, Smyslo versus what we are seeing? I'll tell the name later. Do you know this game? I was like, uh, I, I didn't know it. I mean, if it was not a live class, but, and he showed this game and look at this game. Okay, guys, first, black took CD4. Okay. And the game continued, knight takes D4, queen takes G2, game over. Okay, <laughs> that's not what happened. Smyslow didn't lose that. What happened was, Smyslow took with the queen. And now, okay, he took with the queen. He took back, because there was a check. Knight takes, bishop g2, king g2. Okay, and this position is reached. This is known as symmetrical pawn structure. Complete symmetry in the position. And even when I was a very good player, around 2200 ELO, I used to feel such positions are very boring and dull. I used to feel like, Are yaar, draw gaya. You know, he has two pawns like this. I have two pawns here. He has four pawns like this. I have four pawns here. How the hell am I going to get an advantage? This is very boring. But this game changed a lot of things. Okay. Can anyone tell me who is better here and why? Just, just try to think who is better in this position and why? Yes, such positions require precision, Peter Cavano. But why? White is better. People are saying white is better. But why? Akshat says white is better because developed knight. Okay, very nice. He has centralized knight while black's knight is not developed. Okay, okay. But I will develop it. It's black to move. I'll just play knight d7. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? White's rook are connected. I will also connect them. 
anyone who has that small little point in the position there is a weakness that we are also talking about swapnil agrawal i hope you are mentioning that as a weak square open c file anurag mundepi i also have he also has what's the big deal yes hussein besau pranay akula prashant tiwari all of you fantastic job you guys are saying c6 square is a weakness and guys just remember this small rule okay when the pawn structure is symmetrical even a small lead in activity or being more active can make a huge difference because in order to sometimes you know when your opponent is active what do you do is you try to have pawn breaks you try to do things which are asymmetrical but in a symmetrical position there are usually no pawn breaks and at that point the one who has a lead in development or activity flowing for him gets a slightly upper hand so even a small advantage like this centralized knight slightly more than your knight this weakness of the square over here could mean a lot okay but you know this is all theoretical let's see how it pans out in the game first move that black played here was rook c8 and now for your third point what should white play here come on guys white to play try to think try to wrap your brain around this position what should white do here adarsh agarwal says can uh, should black have played rook d8 adarsh will come to your move as well but first what do you do uh, maharishi says what if e5 very good so you guys have good questions we we'll look at those questions but for now let's look at rook here what do you play and i love it i simply love the fact that you all are simple making a simple move but a beautiful move so fantastic job done by yash vinayak anunad pranay maharishi rafi abhinav jt vignesh and pushkar jain good job excellent just rook ac1 full marks to this simple move bringing your rook taking control over the c6 square fantastic job simply love the move that you guys have come up with so a full point to all of you just going back and talking about the two moves that have been recommended here one is rook d8 and i think to rook d8 most likely move is rook fd1 it's defending the knight also creating a deadly threat of knight e6 check black must play knight a6 and the game goes on okay it's not like this position for example i want to go knight c6 it can get quite nasty here for black okay so rook d8 wasn't played e5 here in case you are suggesting it weakens another square in the position which is that square which is weakened now earlier we were talking about the c6 square being weak now with the move e5 which is the square that has been weakened you all are becoming positional geniuses do you know that because look at this all of you all of you are talking about the new weakness here which is the d6 square fantastic so the knight will go to b5 and sit on d6 so knight to b5 is the correct move and then knight d6 and all of a sudden you will realize are baap re i was trying to remove the knight from this square so that it doesn't go on c6 but it is going to a better square now and on d6 it's very powerful okay so this will not work so rook c8 played rook a c1 knight d7 and now for your fourth point what should white play in this position white to play be careful again remember when you have a lead in development you should be ultra careful don't mess it up because your leeway for 
making an error is very small. The moment you make a mistake with white, black equalizes. Black will be like, okay, I made this move. Now there is no, you have no advantage. So you have to, you know, how, how do I look at this advantage? It's like this small little flame, which is burning. And there is wind coming and rain coming and you have to nurture it. You have to put your hands around it and you have to take it there. And the flame should keep on being nurtured till a point you reach a place which is safe. And then the flame will burn brightly. Okay. Rajesh JR says, Sagar Bhai, thanks a lot for the invite for Waka celebration. You have ticked one of my bucket list items. I'm really grateful to you. Rajesh, great. Um, great that you came. And I hope that such events are hap happen more. And really grateful to Westbridge for being able to bring so many champions together at one place. Okay. What is a precise move here? Let me see. What are the moves that have been recommended in our chat chess moves? Knight c6. I knew most of you will get tempted to it. But the right move and I'm really proud of these people here is Rook fd1, Abhigyan, Amai, Aryaman, Maharishi, Divyanshu, Namand, Magnesium, Magnesium, Calcium. Hmm. Sonali, Shelke, Ananya, Gupta, Padaya, Kalpesh. Very good. So what you guys are doing now, this is a bit of calculation because if you don't calculate the first move that will come to any mind is knight c6. I or move correct you with this knight. I've taken the beautiful square. I'm attacking e7. I'm attacking a7. I'm looking at all these squares. But, but the problem the problem with this move is knight to c5 and you will see that guys this move you did not expect because with this your knight is under attack and once your knight is under attack you need to move it if you go back khatam, your advantage is gone because black is now equally active as you correct so you say okay at least i should win a pawn but when you win a pawn, what is it that black is going to do now? You all know it. What is black going to do? Exactly, Akshat. Very good. Anyone? Dhanai, JT, Sriram, Prashant, Rachit, Pranay, Praful, Pushkar. Excellent. Janil Patel. Very good. Rookie 8. He's going to attack the knight and he's going to take your pawn on e2. Khatam ho gaya. So that is the reason why flame keep it keep it burning. Don't let it go down. Rook F D1. Fantastic job. All those who said Rook F D1. Okay. I really like this move. Because now black ko bol diya bhai, tum karo, what do you what is your plan now? So black said. I am playing my knight to c5 because if black wanted to take here, then I will take and I will have the c file. Correct? So that's not good. So he played the move knight to c5. And now he played the move before. Knight ko marenge hum lat. We will kick the knight away. The knight cannot sit there. Still, you see, white is still keeping that edge. That small little flame is burning. Knight a4. Now, I'll, I'll tell you why knight e4 was better. We'll discuss it. But knight a4 was played in the game. And now for your fifth point, guys, be alert. What should white play here? Socho, Socho, think. Why to play? What do you do? Rayan, how are you, Rayan? Come on, think. It's a very nice position. It's a very, you have to be. Malab, aisa hai na, ki it looks positional, 
but you have to calculate the small tactics and i'll show you the small tactics and you'll be like oh my god itna sara tactics in such a small position with just two rooks and a knight so try to think what is the move here okay so a lot of you want to play knight c6 and actually i can give half a point to that it's not a bad idea you want to put your knight here you are attacking this pawn most likely black should go rook c7 defending this defending this preparing rook c8 eventually you will go b5 and then black might put his knight back on c5 it will be difficult for you to make progress black will play a6 to counter get counter play down the a5 so while knight c6 is a decent move you only get half a point the people who get full point here are those who suggested the move knight to b5 and who are the people who suggested knight b5 abhigyan saumya rajesh aryaman padaya magnesium ashutosh vipul divyanshu well done all of you so now the thing is look at the number of tactics okay firstly i am not sure what i want to do okay i may or may not attack look at this if you play the move a6 which is a natural move why is this a blunder guys why is this a blunder all of you have to think kya galti hai a6 just to move yeah you want to kick the knight away losing game khatam khalas everything's over why yes pranay akula jt everyone very quick laman shashank iso entro indrajit forever sanchita ghosh rayan real sagar shah sonali shelke chat is you know, must you guys are very powerful but do, did you see all the tactics around this say for example i go knight c7 excellent move i attack the rook and if you play rook a b8 dikh raha hai sabko a6 pawn is hanging pawn up but did you guys spot what to do for rook a7 how many of you spotted rook a7 ko kya karna hai yes 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 very good very good pranay jt india's gaming talent research about uh sanchita ghosh jyotin jay nikhita mari shetty pranay shashank shriram teel prashant tiwari jyoti singh 96 check <laughs> wow even in such a symmetrical position kitne sare tactics there are so many tactics here i give a check and then just take the rook so have to be careful have to be careful you can't push a6 and if you can't push a6 i am looking at taking here taking here and maybe getting into d7 to attack this and this or maybe snatching the a7 pawn already the pressure is getting up is rising so he took rook takes c1 smi slow now took back and the point is that you can't move your rook from a8 correct because if you move it a7 is falling meanwhile a6 is not what you want to do because of now okay maybe knight c7 still or even knight d4 i have done my job my rook is coming to the c7 square here so he went for the move a5 and now it's very important to keep control over the c5 square because that is what is stopping the knight this pawn is stopping the knight from going there so what do you do deep breath play a calm move what do you play ekdam calm shanti shanti move yes divyanshu sahu graham pawar vignesh chirag excellent guys excellent you guys all did meditation yeah it's so like ठीक है भाई यू आर प्लेइंग ए फाइव आई विल प्ले ए थ्री नो हरी नो हरी ओके ही प्लेड द मूव 
rook to d8 and now for your sixth point in the position what do you do here as white white to play come on let's go let's go let's go come on guys also do like the stream but I would like Karna so that more people can join in. Now we are reaching that point. We have passed the halfway mark. This is your sixth point. What do you do here? You know? There is this uh, song which was made by uh, Biswa which was Pon Hu Chota Sa. There is also a song, similar song, which is Rook Hu Chota Sa. Okay, let me explain to you. What is the song? So when the position begins, the Rook says, Rook Hu Chota Sa, Choti Si Asha. What is this Choti Si Asha? Open file me ja ke, Jine ki Asha. Seventh rank per me jau. So, his asha is to get the open file, and then the next big asha is that he can reach the seventh rank. Hmm. Apologies to everyone, couldn't find a good word to continue the song, but. Rook C7 is the correct move. JT, Rafi, Rajesh, oh Rafi ji. You would like my song. Rajesh, JR, Varun, Joshi, Abhigyan, India's gaming talent, Vinayak, Marar, Chirag, Shubra, Vijay. So, the idea is that Rook wants to fulfill the dream of its life to reach the 7th heaven. Chalo bhai, 7th rank poch gaye. Now, now, black does rook d5. Black is like, why are you tera knight? Ko maar hai? Kya karega tu? Very important position. By the way, rook d5 was not the most accurate move. We will come back to this move. The most accurate move here was king f6. Just defending the pawn. Now the problem here, okay, is that after B A B A, okay, I go rook A seven, and after rook A seven, I'm attacking your A five pawn, and even if I win one pawn, that's a lot of, that's a huge advantage because then I will have a passer. So you play the move rook D five, and now I take this pawn, and guys, what is the move here? that black must play in order to equalize there's only one move let's see how many of you can spot it now suddenly you need to switch to calculation guys yay cheese this is the thing that you must do really well it's like changing the gear in the car you are on the positional gear but often in one game of chess you can't remain on one gear you need to think about tactics you will see that oh my god my knight is hanging i must do something and that is where you guys must really, how do I put it, breathe and figure out that when you make a move, see, when you see a move for yourself, don't end the calculation with that. All of you here, all of you, so, so quick. And I'm going, I'm going to put this graph here because I'm really upset. Knight c3. Pai kya bolenge log? Ki kya sikha rahe ho? Knight c3. That's the horriblest move ever. Who, is, who said it? Prashant. Amrit. Rajesh. Pushkar. Abhigyan. Dhanai. Pranay. Tanmay. Akshat. What are you doing guys? What is the problem now? Abhi sahi mu mat likho. Abhi iska problem batao. What is the problem? Of course, Samir Bhosle. Rook a6. Check. Pin is broken. And knight is lost. Free me. Game mein yehi hota hai. This is what happens in your game. You should 
be careful okay and so all those who have mentioned here the move knight to b6 fantastic job all of you knight b6 has been answered by sanchita ghosh vijay bishwajit aradhya raid adhisan Ak akashdeep abhigyan sonali shelke what have you just done with this is that you have stopped rook a6 check and this is still pinned so it's a big trouble now for white and knight b6 is a very uh, calm move you can only find it when you think about your opponent's move okay so now white may have to do a4 and then black can take this and then it's a draw okay right now coming to the move that was played in the game which was rook d5 which is which looks very natural because you are attacking the knight what is the move here white to play white to play what should you play someone is at the door let me check till that time you think carefully what should you do sorry sorry i'm back so the move that all of you now here again the flame remember the flame it has to keep on burning so the all the people who said knight c3 you are not letting the flame burn you are exchanging the knights and once the knights are traded the rook end game is actually drawish in fact if someone is better it is black what is the move here that black can fight for an edge in this position come on come on think what is the move where to post the chess moves pritam in the chat no here it's very simple you need to make a move that makes your opponent go passive and not rook d2 i know you want to go to the seventh rank but if you go to the seventh rank i will go and attack your pawn i will counter attack so the move here is rook d4 very good job done by padaya kalpesh pranay music deveshwar manish ankit excellent because now i'm attacking b4 you must play rook b3 and that is already no passive defense is not good you must look for activity but unfortunately you can't be active with white you can play rook c7 but he will go e6 and all of a sudden like if you go here i'll go rook d5 and you will lose a pawn you will be a pawn down but even pawn down is much better than passive defense so let's say if i go h4 just remember this rook b5 rook b7 this position might well be much much better than going here rook d4 rook b3 b5 here you are stuck forever and now what black will do is he'll bring his king in and it will be a very bad position for for white okay so all in all by the way guys 
here knight c3 not a good idea let's go back and the right move is knight to a7 and all those who have said knight a7 are abhigyan shubhra amrit maharshi jt vinayak marar chess wizard rafi lavitra and anurag excellent job guys knight to a7 i'm keeping my knight active it seems like it's going on the side of the board but it is a must okay now he took of course we'll take back and here he played the move e6 just saving the pawn and so white played the move now guys we are coming to the culmination of this game okay it's getting really even you will see that smith slow from the opening where he had a small advantage of activity that was here in this position he has kept it going and still has a small edge here in this position after playing knight c6 he's still slightly active now it's a tough question okay very tough what should black play here and suppose you were in the shoes of i'm going to reveal the name pal benko benko was black what do you do here benko to move black to move what do you do come on think it's not easy it's not easy it requires calculation it also requires what is white's threat here to understand what is white's threat only when you understand what white is threatening will you be able to understand what to do here as black some of you are saying knight c5 bhai log kya kar kya rahe ho knight c5 i'll just take it there is not enough after rook c5 i can go rook c8 and knight a7 i'm just unpinning so all those who are now saying the move king f6 is possible the threat understand the threat here the threat is to play the pawn up to e4 hit the rook let's say the rook moves down and then bring okay and let me not reveal it too much but e4 is a big threat here so the right move in this position was knight b2 and all those who have said knight b2 well done it was not easy it was not easy it was tough this move is really really good one well if you play knight c3 by the way many of you want to play king f6 that does not work because of it's actually a good idea you're stopping what white wants but not stopping it well enough white will play the move here i will explain why knight b2 is the best move but here the best move for white is not e4 not e4 let's let's also look at knight c3 yes but here f4 is an excellent move because now i will put my knight on e5 and i will attack here and black king is terribly misplaced terribly it's going to get checkmated nothing more nothing less so here f4 is the is one more plan now you know okay abhi look at this okay knight b2 is correct he played in the game rook d2 and now for your eighth point what should white play here white to play come on smith low ne jo chota chota jo the flame he was just nurturing the flame is now fire now it's a fire on the board 
वॉट इज द मूव दैट यू विल प्ले हियर कम ऑन सोचो यस फैंटेस्टिक आंसर गिवन बाय अभिज्ञान म्यूजिक विथ चरण पदाया कल्पेश राजेश जे आर चेस ट्रिक्स एंड ट्रैप्स चंचल झा जे टी पार्थ प्रफुल शर्मा सागर गोयल नाइट टू ई फाइव ब्रिलियंट मूव और मूव एंड विथ दिस एफ सेवन इज हैंगिंग कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते अरे यार क्या हो गया यार सब बदल गए जिस बात बदल गए वक्त बदल गया यार तुम लोग पोजिशनल पोजिशनल खेल रहे थे सडनली टैक्टिकल नाउ एफ सेवन इज हैंगिंग सो माई क्वेश्चन इज माई क्वेश्चन टू ऑल ऑफ यू इज हाउ इज नाइट बी टू एक्चुअली वर्किंग आफ्टर ई फोर रुक डी टू ओके नाइटी फाइव सेम कॉन्सेप्ट बट वॉट इज द मूव दैट ब्लैक कैन प्ले हियर गाइस what is the move that black could have saved himself why does his why is his knight very useful now all of a sudden yes 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 well done well done all of you they go tactics and calculation are very important switching gears between positional and tactical now suddenly knight d3 and all of a sudden white can't handle everything now see there is pressure here but there is also pressure here if you take knight takes knight i will take this this is possible to hold such an end game rook end game the other thing is if you play rook takes f7 black will play king g8 and black will be like ab kya karoge because if you take knight takes knight i will take your rook it's already trouble time and if you play here pin but it's a blunder why why is it a blunder black to play vishnu sharma accounts exam hai par ye answer kya hai white to play black to play sorry black to play क्या मूव गलती 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 सो मेनी पीपल सो ईगर टू गिव दिस चेक अरे दोस्तों रुक इज प्रोटेक्टेड रुक इज प्रोटेक्टेड यू कांट प्ले इट सो द मूव यर इज रुक टेक्स एफ टू किंग इयर नाइट टेक्स ई फाइव Rook d8 check because look if I play king f2 you will take knight d7. Rook d8 what is the move now? Black to play. Come on, think, calculate, calculate करो. Yes, Karan Gupta very good. Maharishi Joshi, Ekam Singh, Pallavi Kulkarni, Gnana Kumar, Dhanay Doshi, Chess Tricks and Traps, Rook f8. Piece up. So so. you see the value of knight b2 the value of knight b2 is not only that the knight will take this square on d3 but it also is that it provokes e4 once you provoke e4 the rook comes in and once the rook comes in f2 becomes soft and unfortunately after this there is no way in which white can take advantage of this knight f7 there is rook f2 and i take this so that was a very tough defense you can see how in such positional games it becomes very tactical towards the end there is a lot of calculation and this is what smithlow did did very well a lot of people thought he is only positional but when it came to finishing the games he was very accurate okay so rook d2 blunder Ninety five, excellent move. All those who find it, found it. Rook takes e two. What do you play here for your ninth point? White to play. What do you do? Come on. Rafi says, don't you think nb two is a very engineish move? Rafi, it's not an engineish move. It's a only move to save yourself. And sometimes 
some positions demand that you play that move otherwise you will just be lost now very important very important to make this next move and i'm glad that most of you have found this move fantastic job yes nikita marishetti today chess base india's india's got chess talent will start at seven o'clock i'm going to schedule the stream after this all of you please join in it's going to be a great great stream for three hours we have four grandmasters who will be commentating it will be great fun but for now let's focus on this game and the move is knight f7 very good chanchal ja music with charan jt padaya gnana kumar rajesh abhigyan rafi somik banerji and karan gupta you play knight takes f7 because if you were to play uh, rook takes f7 then after king g8 the trouble begins because your knight is attacked and your knight is defending this so you should not play it okay knight takes f7 is the correct move here and now black is a little bit worried black thinks that oh my god he's going to go knight g5 and attack h7 so he plays the move h5 so white goes check king f6 and now guys guys last question sub look i want all of you to tell the right answer i'm going to take everyone's name who gives me the right answer white to play there's one move which is beautiful there's one move which is less beautiful do move hai but beautiful move kitne log kar sakte let's see abhigyan Abhigyan, I hope you are not using any unfair means. Vinayak Marar, well done. Anunad Singh, excellent. Geeta Mehta, Divakar Shukla, Pritham, Pushkar Jain. Chess tricks and traps. Chess D, very good. What's the move? What's the move? Really love it. J just G just the Prana, very good. So many of you want to play H4. However, H4 does not take into control the E5 square. I want to give you a check, but the king will run from E5. Correct? You want to actually play F4. Because that sort of traps the black king. However, the problem with f4 is that the pawn is pinned. I can't play it. And so you unpin it. Unpin kiji. And when you unpin it, next move, you can't take the knight because I'll take your rook. And if he goes rook b2, I will play the move. look at this it's a mating net with three pieces it's a mate he must play king f5 in order to save himself and what is the only move here guys i want 100 people to give the right answer in the chat so look 100 of you have to find the best move for white here guys come on i am not taking don't give check don't give check think 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 See, check is, when you give a check, you are pushing him away. You need to corner him from all ends. Once you corner him, then give a check. Fit check made over. Let me see how many of you have found this answer. The number of people who have found this answer is 70 people. Not bad. Not bad. Out of 438 people watching this, 80 people have found it. Excellent job, Karan, Gagan, Vinayak, Chesdi, Shaumik, Maharishi, Sanchita, Anurag, and Rajesh JR. Well done. The move here is H3. And you will see that this pawn defends G4. This knight defends E4. The threat is Rook F7 checkmate. Kuch bhi nahi hai. Yahan pe, that is over. So, that's the reason why Pal Benko was like, oh my god, Smith Slow, what a player you are. Hats off to your positional understanding. I don't know how you managed to trick me here. 
I have to now take this. There is no other way. He took king takes. King takes g5. Okay, exchange down. But guys, the problem is the knight is outside the game. Yes, you have a knight and a pawn, but it's not enough. King e3, king g4, b5, king h3, rook c4, knight b2, and after rook c2, black resigned the game because there's just no hope. The white king is coming in like this. h2, which was a weakness, is now protected. The white king can also go after taking this, take this. Go this direction, take this, too much hanging. And so, Smyslov won the game. And guys, this game made such a deep impact on me. I don't know how much I about Simet because imagine from where it came. It came from such a position. And then there were so many tactics. So, I want you to tell me, okay, what did you learn from this game? Pranit, uh, Silevani, you can't play check on f7, king g4, h3 because g3 would hang. Pranit, this is what you were mentioning. Uh, like, for example, here. <clears throat> king f1. Here. Here. King f5. If I play check, king here. And this, then this would hang. So that's why first h3. Okay, what are the what are the things you have learned? Keep the flame burning. Very good Graham power. I like. Jaldi bazi nahi karne ka India's gaming talent. Okay. Knights are tricky. We all know. Accurate play. The biggest thing you should learn. Biggest thing is about symmetrical structure. Me activity is the key. Okay. Keep the latent heat going, Rajesh JR. That's a good one. Simplest looking position can be so, so tactical. Very good. Official RP. Maintain the pressure. Divyan Sahu. Music with Charan says GG's. Okay. Never judge the game too early. Use of tactics in positional play. Janil Patel. Yes. Janil, when you are streaming, make use of these things i see you streaming many times and you are uh, you know playing quite well you've reached 1800 keep going uh, i think always look for activity rafi i would say just adding a bit to everyone what you are saying in symmetrical positions the side that is active has a real advantage it's not it's not just about material, it's the activity. And you can see how Smyslov rook laya, then dusra rook laya, then he pushed the knight away, then he brought his knight here, then he got his rook to the seventh heaven, then he brought his knight. Look, he made many, many active moves. And then finally, opponent blundered. Opponent had to play. If opponent was ac accurate, draw ho jata tha. But every time, the path to equality was getting narrower and narrower. And when he did this, in the end, beautiful move, King F1. It became tactical. And of course, Mislow is very good at it. And guys, that was the game. So please do like the stream. Do comment at the end of it as to out of 10, how many points you got. And I hope you enjoyed it. This is Sagar Shah signing off. See you all in a couple of hours for India's Got Chess Talent finale. Until then, bye-bye.